Pi Game Tutorial Part 3, I suggest you watch the first two before you jump into this one because I'm just adding on to what I've done in previous tutorials. So look through my videos and find the uh, first two. Um, today we're going to animate a little bit of the images that we put into the game last time. So let's look at what we've created so far. This is the window we've created so far and we have two images that we've loaded. Let's animate this top one to make him move. So I'm going to go into my text editor. Once again, you can use any text editor. I'm using Vim. Edit my code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these three lines. Remember, these are the lines that drew. We, we load an image here, and then we draw, drew it twice, and then we refreshed our screen with this uh, Pi game display flip. I'm going to take all that and I'm going to put it down here into our while loop. Now remember Python uh, is very particular about indenting, so make sure our indentation is proper here. At this point, uh, don't have to, but I'm just going to remove these lines up here because they're not needed. I am also going to set some variables up here. I'm going to set a variable called x and I'm going to set that equal to 0, and I'll set a one called y equal to 0. And these are going to be our points for animation. So we're going to set them up there, and then down here I'm going to change this image here from its position being 0, 0, so its top left is 0 over and 0 down, to x and y, which at this point is still 0, 0. So at this point we save our code, run it again, it doesn't seem like we've changed anything. The code is still looping and it's not moving. I'm going to close that, go back into Vim here. And now what I'm going to do is add a line here. And I'm going to say x equals x plus 1. So every time this loop happens, x is going to increase by 1. So it's 0, then it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, which will correspond here and cause that image to move to the right. Now you'll see we still need to add more to the code because there's going to be a little bit of a glitch in this one. As you see it draws, it leaves a trail behind it. And the reason for that is that we're not clearing the screen each time. So every time we're drawing, it's just drawing on top of the old image. The reason it doesn't draw here is because we're redrawing that image. We need to redraw the entire screen. So I'm going to close that go back in here, I'm going to create a variable, I'll put it right here, we'll call it black, and we're going to set that to 0, 0, 0. So that's our color scheme, uh, red, green, and blue, and we're setting it all to 0 so that it's black, because we want our background to be black currently. Um, now we still need to have it, that's set in the variable for the color, we still need to uh, basically clear out the screen in each loop. So down here I'm going to add um, screen dot fill. So this is just every time the loop goes through it's going to fill the screen with black. So it's going to basically make the screen black every loop but we're not going to see that because it's going to redraw this stuff before it refreshes the screen. So let's have a look at our code now or look at our game now. Voila! He's animating across the screen. We don't have that trail going. Um, so now I'm going to go back in here and we create a y variable so we might as well use it. We'll say y equals y plus 1. So now y is going to grow each time. We'll run the game again and now instead of just going straight across he's going down as well. So that is a quick, simple look at how to move images in Pygame. Hope you're enjoying these tutorials. Visit Films by Chris for more. Have a great day.